What's up everybody and welcome back. Today is a very special day because it's going to be the first spray I get to do this year. Wah! So I'm gonna go ahead and get out on my lawn. I don't get to get out on my lawn. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna let that hold me down. Here's the deal. Actually, what's remaining in my lawn still looks pretty good. The thing is, I'm not gonna put anything on that because it's about to get destroyed. I keep saying that, but it is already destroyed. More than 55%, maybe 56 per 56 and a half percent is already gone. And the rest of this is going to get buried here pretty soon. So what am I supposed to do about that? Well, I think I have an idea. Remember this one? Let's go over here. So I wanna give you a quick walkthrough of what this place is looking like. Now, if you remember, I took care of this lawn last year, did only four applications on it. You can take a look at the video link right here and see everything that I did to it. And there's a few things that I wanna note and just make sure everybody is aware of. I ran that dethatcher over here, that Sunjo. You can take a link right there and look at that too. On this thing, and honestly, I think there's still more that I could pull out of here. I don't think it was completely done, but it did a pretty dang good job. Now. If we just take a look back here, the grass looks pretty dang good. It is really dry. Let me show you what the soil's doing just on the edge of the grass so you kind of get an idea. And note, nothing has been watered yet this year. Water is not turned on, so it is, it's just dry. Check this out. It's not great. It's not great at all. But let's do a quick walk around and see what this place looks like. And then I wanna give you an idea of everything that I'm gonna be doing. So this is the back hill. This side is about 2,000 square feet back here. There's about 1,500 square feet in the front. There was an area that I'm walking over right now. You can see behind me underneath, it's a little brown. Doesn't look all that great. This actually came in way better than ever before. If you remember last year, that thing was mostly dirt and it struggles because it's by the hot tub drainage, all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at this out here. And remember, I did not run the Sun Joe past this fence. And I wanted to so just kind of give you an idea of what this looks like. See, a lot more dry grass, a lot more sort of dead matter that could come up. This could be a good candidate, but what I'm gonna do is leave this one, only run the dethatcher on that one up there. And that way we can get a good idea of what happens when we run the dethatch product later on this season. So let's just kind of keep taking a little walk around. Very dry out here. See what I'm talking about? We are to the point, which is really early for us to start needing water already. And we're just gonna have to do that. So today's gonna be one of those days. Let's go talk about what's gonna go down and then I'll kind of give you an idea of what I have planned for this place this year. All right, so today I am bringing out the arsenal and I am gonna use everybody's favorite tool. I know nobody likes this thing, so we're gonna make a modification on it right now and see if that makes a difference. You ready? This is pretty high tech. I don't suggest that everybody uh, does this type of surgery on their equipment. I'm just gonna go like this. Why on earth did I do that? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna spray upside down because I feel like it. And see if this thing does any better. Huh, you like that? So everybody's always asking me, what can they apply inside of the same cup at the same time? So we're gonna do a little bit of that today. But first things first, I'm gonna knock out the Green Punch app across this whole back. And I'm gonna do this in a couple different sections. So. I'm gonna run this at the full rate and I'm gonna give this whole back end one full tank of that ortho dial and spray, which is gonna be close to, it'll be a little over 32 ounces to knock this whole thing out. So then once that's done, then I'm gonna run back through and I'm gonna do RGS 
and I'm going to do aerate, and I'm going to do humic, and um, I don't know, I might throw some 002 in there as well, and I'm going to show you what you can put all together and what you shouldn't. We'll do front yard, we'll do backyard, and we'll get this place popping. All right? Ortho mod fail. So fortunately, I keep a whole crap ton of these around for, you know, the common failures that these things make because it does happen. And this one, I actually don't think it was a result of uh, my modification. The second I flipped this over, the whole top was leaking all over the place. So I actually think that I'm dealing with something else here, probably a crack. And, you know, since these are kind of cheap and not great, it just doesn't seem like it was sealed up okay. So we're gonna go back to the standard JP mod over here. Another new one I had laying around. And we're gonna hit it with this one. And then maybe, just maybe, I might cut the thing out again. Piece of shit. And uh, try it. You never know. You know, I feel adventurous. And I think for like 10 bucks for these things, uh, it, you might as well. Might as well play with them and try to find a better way for them to work. Just my opinion. Nobody else has to do that. But I get to do what I want. I'm a grown ass man. So. So that's one batch down, 1801's done. So here's what's gonna go in this now. Um, again, 2,000 square feet up here. I am going to max this thing out because it'll take it up to uh, 36 ounces if you fill it up all the way. So I'm gonna run 36 ounces in here, but this is what I'm gonna do. Six ounces of RGS, six ounces of aerate, and six ounces of humic. That's, you know, so 12, 12, 12. 36. So all of those can mix together. They mix together fine. No issues. The one I left out of that was the microgreen 002. That product is really uh, acidic. It uh, does not play well with some of these higher pH materials. So keep that one on its own. So as far as the biostims go, there's three plus one that you can mix really well together with no trouble. Dethatch would be the extra one. Aerate, RGS, Humic. All of those can go in the same tank. No trouble. Okay, so I went ahead and knocked out the front so that that's done. And there's really only one piece left. Now, I put down four products today. I left the 002 out of it. I also didn't have any seek. I'm gonna go pick some of that up from uh, my yard. I have a tote of it down there, so I gotta throw some in a jug and bring it up here. So I got the body of the application done, which was nice. Uh, 16 ounces per thousand of the uh, Green Punch. And then I did six ounces of RGS, six ounces of Aerate, six ounces of Humic 12, whole place. Looks great. So last step is watering this in. And now this is going to be a little tricky today. You might not be able to tell right now in this moment, but the wind kind of keeps gusting up. So I'm going to go grab uh, an item that I've been really wanting to use and I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to let it run. I just don't know how well it's going to do with the water pressure the way it is. I may actually end up uh, hooking it over to my house and running it from that side because this one just really, it doesn't seem to be working well, but I'm going to go grab that tool and then we'll, we'll talk about what I'm gonna use it for. Okay, so this is the last part. I'm gonna water this whole thing in and I'm gonna use this. Okay, I'm gonna use more than this. I'm gonna use this. Ooh, a tripod. That's almost all of it. 
Actually, I'm just going to show you the pieces. It also comes with this. This is the guy from Star Wars that goes like womp, 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 womp. I don't know if you, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Anyway, so this is what I've got here. And here's how I'm going to use it this year. Just I'm not using it like this today. That's a motion sensor. It controls a valve. That valve kicks on. It sprays this sprinkler. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but I constantly struggle with rodentia up in the rock walls, and I'm going to struggle with that again this year. So I'm going to give this bad boy a try. This is the enforcer, the lawn enforcer. Ooh. And uh, I just want to see what happens. But for right now, since it is a little windy, um, I'm going to set this thing up on the tripod down low here and just let it run out and try to get this thing covered off. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So all I really did is I just detached the, uh, the fitting from the little valve here. And so I'm just putting that thing on right now. I'm just going to set this up like this. So basically right now it's just a tall sprinkler. And, um, you know, that way I can just kind of water this thing in. I, you know, with how much material that I put out today, it's definitely just smart to go ahead and get everything a nice drink and uh, try to get it soaked in as best you can. Um, especially on these first initial applications. I don't think that we're going to be turning on sprinkler systems here for a little while. So, um, you know, this is one of those times where I just, I really want to make sure that this application gets down, gets set in because it's already dry. So I'm gonna give this thing like 10 minutes right here, and then I'm gonna move it up into that corner and let it spray down the hill for about another 10 minutes, and then I'll move it out to the front as well. But this is a key piece, and I think it's really important to just make sure, get the water in, soak all of this material down, get it working, get it in the ground, get it doing what it's supposed to do. And the lawn is just gonna green up really fast. And I mean, even just sitting here, looking at the way this looks, you could tell that it was really dry when I first showed up because the color has changed since I've been here. And that's just because I've been getting moisture on it and kind of giving it a little bit more uh, chance to liven up a bit. So definitely, definitely make sure you water it in. Well, I just looked at what was left of the battery on my camera. So I think I'm just gonna make this the end of the video. Simple app, fast, easy, two passes over the thing, four products went out. This lawn's gonna be shining. Front lawn's gonna be shining. Everything's gonna be taken off. And in the meantime, while I don't have a lawn, I'll be over here working on this one. I've already seen two dandelions, but you know what? I'm not that concerned. Right along where the heat is, there's one right there. Another one right over there. So maybe this year we'll have a chance to do a weed control app, but I'm just gonna kind of let those sit and let's see what happens, okay? In the meantime, make sure you're subscribed, join in, have fun, leave a comment, like the video. Let's play together in the lawn. We're going to have a hell of a lot of fun this summer. I'll talk to you guys real soon. See ya.